The first in an eventual trilogy that also spawned a 12-episode TV series, this French action thriller was a surprise hit following its October 2002 release, more than doubling its $21 million budget. Co-directors Louis Leteria and Hong Kong choreography specialist Corey Young do a great job bringing the fast and flashy 92-minute picture together. Jason Statham is featured in his first starring role as a professional courier for criminals who gets more than he bargained for after transporting a living hostage, played by the adorably annoying Ki Shu. Although the acting is less than convincing, the two leads share enough romantic chemistry and charisma that it's easy to overlook their performance shortcomings. Obeying a strict set of self-imposed rules, Statham takes pride in his work, explaining, transportation is a precise business. A thrilling high-speed chase through seaside France kicks off the PG-13 rated film, and is one of the more memorable cold opens for the genre. Backed by some funky sounding music by Stanley Clark, the fight sequences are inventive and exciting to watch unfold, especially since Statham commendably performs all of his own stunts. <laughs> One particularly fantastic scene sees him taking on eight bad guys at once while covered in motor oil. Occasionally, though, the fights feel like they're happening in slow motion and appear too rehearsed. The movie constantly skirts the fringes of believability, however, not the least of which is miraculously landing a car on a transport vehicle and hitching a ride without its driver ever noticing. The remainder of the set pieces are relatively low-key and contained, but work very well within the limited narrative. With not much below the surface, bland villains, unrealistic action, and a simplistic plot, the movie still maintains its appeal with well-executed martial arts, some big explosions, and fast-moving chase sequences. Hardly an award-winning film, it's still plenty rewatchable, as are its equally amusing sequels. The Transporter. Quick fights distract from story. Here are some of your thoughts now from the YouTube comments. Our scores for The Transporter, a 7 and a 7. Plenty of praise for this picture, with most of it going to Statham and the fight choreography, but we're both aware of the film's limitations and faults, scoring it a cool.